time for the fourth installment of the Chandelier series now, so let's let's do it. Where were we at? 93 cards. This deck is a beast. I I got to admit, I wanted to play more Chandelier, but I wasn't uh, I wasn't feeling like streaming this in particular earlier. So I started a new run that is black red, and it is just vicious so far. It's coming out of the gate so strong. Actually, even it even had better green cards than I started with, but whatever. Where are we right now? Uh, all right, Zephyr Haven is under attack, and we don't have any gems to teleport over. Let's see. Let us see. What are we going to do? Do I want to try and save the town? Last time I didn't make it in time. You know, I think I'm just going to explore some more of the map. That's the route we're going to go. really here for us go east to a Lauren Haven now it's the opposite of the way we want to be going so we'll skip out on that stay away from the the black creatures right now because they are gonna auto fight us all right need some more food okay let's see here nothing there for us quest is for a green amulet at cold snap tower where is that uh, it's over here. Yeah, we haven't quite made it to where we want to, so we're not going to do that one. What do we got here? Nightmare. Man, that's dope when you're playing mono black. Okay, Shalecliff Tower, which is down over here. I guess we could accept that quest. Why not? Why not get the gem? And take any any bonuses we can get. Oh, hello. How many crow arms do we have? Uh, where are they? Up here. We got three. Sweet. We're going to buy that crow worm. Slap that bad boy in there. All right. That's good. Travel west to Nevermore Hall. Uh, oh, quick. Okay. That's the way we're going. If we get there, then we can, it gives us like free food. Yeah, let's have a low stakes match, shall we? Oh, one forest. Okay, maybe my deck don't have enough lands in it. We'll see. Get some extra cards I can sell or some more dungeon clue action going on. It's time to start beating them down and collecting up more resources. Oh, okay, straight out of the gates. Savannah Lion. Uh, he's not going to trade if we attack with it. And it'll get us two points ahead, right? Oh, he is going to trade. Okay, well, in that case, we'll slap out a dervish. Hope he doesn't have a blocker for that, because it grows every turn when it hits him. So the dervish can get pretty sweet overall. <laughs> All right, I guess we'll just swing in. No blocks. Giant growth. Giant growth. Yeah, you're down to three, chump. And now he's a 2-2. Two, two. Ha ha, yeah. Oh, he got plowed. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, well. Ah, oh, come on, man. Any more lands? If he turns it around on me now and I end up losing, that's gonna be that's gonna be a tough to deal with. There we go. Yeah, leeches, leeches. Two two first strike, baby. That's all we need in this scenario. I could have blocked, I suppose, but I think he has like a healing solve. And I also wanna just swing with the leeches, so Oh, two, three, what? Well, we're going to need a bigger beast. Let's go. Loco, you're in a musical mood, huh, buddy? Turned everything into tunes. All right. Oh, we gotta... We're going to be here longer than I thought. Oh, a tracker. Cool. Going to finally get to see him in action. I guess all he's really going to do is hit Amru, but still, you know, getting to use him to remove a creature. If we can get an aspect of wolf on him, that'll get really dumb. That'll get really dumb. 
I would love that. All right, we need more mana. So, Tracker. Smash Amru. Yeah, there you go. Dope. But unfortunately, because of the Samites 3, 4, and the fact that it stops a point of damage, we can't really punch through. We must bide our time for the... Ew. Oh, actually, that's great. If we can get him to tap the Samite healer. Okay, we're gonna mess up his land base. That's it. We're gonna slowly screw up his land base. This is this is an inevitable kind of win. I feel like I don't see anything going wrong here. Disenchanting his own meek stone. Okay, uh, and plowing my guy. That works fine for me. Oh, I left it like I was hoping I would get a land, and that's why I didn't Cyclopean tomb. Oh well. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? <laughs> he blessed my tracker. Uh, you know what? Let's just double block it. That works fine for me. I'm not, I'm sitting there talking about how I'm going to turn all his lands into swamps, but I'm just waiting and hoping for the, oh, he can use the weaponry. That's fine. I'm not going to block. He just left himself open. Okay, cool. Let's get this fight over with. Yeah. All right. Um, I'm going to take the dungeon clue. Oh, force field and time vault. Man, that's worth it. And we got extra gold. And we lost our mana tap. That's a shame. That's a shame. What are you going to do? Uh, eh, nothing really here for us. I'm supposed to. Oh, wait. I'm supposed to go to Shalecliff Tower. <laughs> I almost forgot that I was in the middle of that quest. All right. That's good. Oh, if I was playing black. Black amulets for green sorceries. Uh, yeah, none of these are worth it. Uh, Millmaster, your wife is mad you stayed up till 3 a.m. playing Chandelar. She blames me or drugs. Well, it ain't me. So you got to go to counseling for, for them drugs. <laughs> All right. Let's see here. It's not my fault Chandelar is addictive, buddy. I'm not your gateway. Okay. Where was that place that had uh, the the apple? What was it called again? Oh, he just said here. Oops, wrong thing. Travel ne Nevermore Hall. Okay, Nevermore. Got us a plains. There's the hall. Uh, no, we don't really need any of that. Go east, take a black land spell. Do we have? Oh, yeah, we definitely have. Okay. And you just said Shale Cliff Tower, right? Like, right? Yeah, that works great. We'll dip over to the hall, and then we'll zip back over there to get a, a mana link. It's too bad the um, enemy keeps knocking them off. Oh, Scrub Sprites. I'll take that. Get a little bit of the Air Force. Why not? There you go, bro. This deck is way too big. Uh, you know what? I may as well slap in a few more forests because we were having land problems. Screw it. I'll make it even bigger. Okay. All right. We got what we came for. And now we head back to the tower to gain life. Oh, a side blast. Neat. I'm going to fight her because she's offering up a rare card. Plus, you might end up getting a... Um, What's it called? Like a white a white gemstone that'll let you teleport to protect. So those would be super useful to get right about now. Wow. This is uh, all my expensive sea names. My crawworms, my cockatrices. Oh, that's all right. Looks like he's laying, laying hose, so we're going to get an easy advantage. Pikeman stops that. <laughs> okay, then. 
We will just have to sit back. That first strike. First strike and banding, man. Banding is house. Oh, sweet. Uh, let's go the air route. Could put down a crawlworm, but then if he puts down some banding donks and first strike guys, then it won't be able to do anything, so... I'm better off just putting this out. I only need one more land before I'm able to untap the mana vault, and then I can start to cast my other beef boys in my hand. So right now, the life race favors me. There we go. Chain my tomb. Swing in for two. Alright. Hey, what's up, Kensuke? How you doing, buddy? Oops. Wasn't paying attention. Got distracted. Forgot to untap the mana vault, but worked out fine anyways. Just ramps up the attack. Oh, I could have just hurricaned. Well, that's what you get. That's what you get. It's called Sloppy Chandelar for a reason. Animating his walls. That ain't gonna be enough, buddy. That ain't gonna be enough to save you. Flying squad for the win. Okay, Shellcliffe Tower is just over to the side. Okay, I got the mana link, but the message just didn't show up. Game's a little tripped out, right? So many bugs and messed up rules interactions. Yeah, remember, it's built on an old rule set, too. So some of the rules might actually be accurate to the time and feel like they're bugged. You got both. You've got bugs and the game working right, but feeling like it's not. Okay, where are we heading to now? Uh, I guess we just haven't explored this little chunk of the map, right? So let's go take a look at what's under there. Guess there's two of them, just gonna have to fight one of them anyways, right? <laughs> Kensuke, you found out your router has an unlabeled button that turns off the Wi-Fi antenna. You thought it was broken for over an hour? That's funny. Tap creatures don't deal damage in your version, definitely a bug. Ah, well, it's funny that you would bring up something that actually demonstrates you don't know how the rules worked back in the day. That's working as intended. Defending creatures that are tapped don't deal damage. So if you look at old cards, like forget the actual game. And if you go and look at old magic cards, you'll find they're based on those rules as well. So Master of Arms from Weatherlight or whatever is like a 2-2. And he has the ability to pay one white and one, tap a creature that's blocking him. And you'd wonder why you'd want to do that. Well, that's specifically because tapped creatures don't do damage. That's the rules functioning as properly. That's how it works. So if you go, I'm going to turn my Mishra's Factory into a land, tap it to make itself 3-3, three, three. now it's a tapped blocker so it doesn't do damage. You can take advantage of that, by the way, with Icy Manipulators. Just let your opponent block your creature and then Icy it, and uh, their creature doesn't get to deal damage. That's actual magic rules from the earliest days. What up, Habanero? You were watching a really boring video and needed a good reason to get away from it. Well, you found one, bro. Oh, yikes. Okay. Coming in hard. Uh, well, I guess we're going to need you, Mr. Icy. Going to need you to save us. What year did tapped creatures not deal damage? Well, 94, and then this game came out in, what, 97 or something like that? So, it was a few years, buddy. It was a few years. Us old magical dinosaurs remember, but uh, a lot of people don't. Okay, we got a war mammoth. And we're going to swing in with the pixies. We're going to 
expect this phase to stop. And we're going to icy the tendrils. Was it part of the 6th edition changes? I don't remember when it changed, in all honesty. It was a while ago, though. It was a while back. All right, War Mammoths. We got both got War Mammoth action going on. All right, put up the Asp and the Apes. And we'll swing in with the Mammoth. See if he wants to trade mammoths. And then we'll cheese bag the mammoth. <laughs> it's so dirty. It's so dirty. Mm. Okay. Uh, I'm going to actually feed him a chump blocker. You can have him. That's fine. I don't feel like being all the way down at three. I don't know what's going to happen if I get that low. All right. Uh, so we're going to go Dream Die Tome. We're going to activate this. And then we're going to swing in for six. And we're going to Icy Manipulator. The Tundra Wolves. Perfect. That's right, Caustic. OG magic, bro. The oldest of the old. Bleh. Wet noodling me with his birds. Thanks for tapping him down. Giving me a clear path to come and beat him out. Okay, so we will activate you. And we will use the icy on you and then we will swing with everybody boom got him hmm cards or clue i'll take the cards can't hurt to have another lure you want some too you want some too i'll win your colossus of sardia why not why not we don't need this marked off anymore, do we? Okay. So, first turn Lanawar Elves into second turn Killer Bees feels pretty good, but I'm actually going to drop the Pixies instead because they don't require mana pumping. And he doesn't have anybody on the ground yet, so... Just going to go ahead and run with it that way. We get to go for more damage overall. Yeah, this is good. This is a good start. Colossus sells for a lot. It does. Caustic. No, if you want to get a copy of this game, you have to find it on like eBay, bro. It's not like available for sale anymore. Got him down to five. Yeah. Not too shabby. Killer bees for the win, yo. Gross. Uh, yeah, I'll take the cards. Hey, one another ivory tower. Hmm. Yeah, I'll fight you too. I'll fight all y'all. Hey, I do still have an aspect of wolf. I haven't seen it for so long. I wondered if it was still in the deck. Chandelar's the name of the world. This is like the old microprose uh, duel of the planeswalker, whatever. I just call it Chandelar, man. It's the same game. It's the same game. Fast Bond. Yo, I gotta take Fast Bond out of this deck. It's not doing jack for me. 
This is not looking good. He's got a beef boy army. Um, He's probably going to attack me. He's not going to worry about losing his guys, is he? So I may as well just swing on him. Kansuki, you have two copies because you have all three boxes, all the different box sets. Right on, man. Okay, well. We're in a race. We're in a race with a guy with four legs, and we got one leg right now. That's not a good feeling. That's not a good feeling. Oh. Here it comes. Nothing, because I fogged it, you punk. Okay, we have to get another land and get a War Mammoth on the board, like, immediately. Immediately. Fuck, am I getting the new secret layer? No, I don't have, uh, I don't got that secret layer cash, son. I got my old digital rectangles. They're going to have to do me. Oh, yo. Oh, we're hosed, man. We're hosed. We're hosed here. Duck with burn in it at two? Like, pff, forget it. We can't get out of this. There's no point. Oh, that hurts, man. I got too cocky and I lost my cockatrice. It's appropriate. All right. Oh, we got a dungeon. Which one is it? That's Azar's Crypt, isn't it? Oh, the force field and the time vault. <gasps> Oh, man. And a time walk, too. I think that, uh, I think we should go in there. Yeah, there's nothing telling me otherwise. Okay. We're going to try our luck. We're going to try our luck. Uh, what do we know about the dungeon? Small black creatures. All right, so we'll slap in a life force because that ruins black decks. And that's the only green hosiery we have. Um, let's ditch the fast bond because that's never done anything. I'll leave that in the side. Is there anything that's really garbo against the black deck? Uh, nah, I'm going to run with this. So the key is going to be, the key is going to be, now you got me asking, asking me about that tropical island. Yeah, I still got it. I still got it to go with the time walk. All right, so the key is going to be to getting our first game, our first match, like, locked in so that we can milk an ivory tower. That's the plan. So the first match will be crucial. And I don't have a strong deck, so <laughs> that is a problem, too. All right, so our options are to fight a Mandarin, one of those demons, or this little wizard dong. So we're going to fight this little wizard dong and hope for the best. Okay, have a nice time. Oh, we got the first turn ivory tower and a dervish. We got a pro black creature. Okay, I don't know like what our chances are overall, but that is... That's okay. That's an all right start. We got the tower straight out. We got a dervish to get pro black. It may be not nearly enough, honestly, but in terms of like a starting out when stabilizing hand, you know? Okay. Boring generic spam. All right, we got a dervish. Sweet, if he's not gonna attack. 
Isaac says, I haven't been getting notifications lately, so more Chandelar! You know what, buddy? That reminds me. The board is really hard to see when we play Chandelar, so... I'm gonna, once this match is over, Isaac, you're Lord of the, you're the Chandelord, all right? I'm gonna find somewhere to put it on the screen after I've, uh, after I've won this fight, all right? Thanks for the super chat, bro. Okay, uh, so yeah, we're gonna be given a chance to stabilize, it looks like. Looks like we've got a shot here. Because I don't think he can kill the dervish. But he can definitely kill the pixies. What if I giant growth it? I mean... Yeah, whatever. It stops him from attacking this turn, too. That works. And then we go to the dancing scimitar. Okay. All right. All right. And now we've got Elven Riders. And with Elven Riders, we can maneuver his life total downwards. And once you get him down to a certain life total, then you control the game even more because you can force them into particular blocking patterns with your attacks. Honestly, this is this is shaping up really, really well. Okay, he doesn't have any flyers, so we can't do anything about it. So we'll swing him with this. And then we'll bring out a killer bees as well. Just want a little more defense before I start to like fill my hand up to start gaining life. So the thing about dungeons, if you don't know, is life totals carry over. So the whole purpose is to like stabilize and not kill him, right? The idea is we don't... Oh, bro, gross. 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 Oh, that's sick. Yeah, lure's awesome. You can just be like, everybody's got a block. I mean, you can't put it on him because then none of these guys could block him, but... Uh, all right. All of his creatures are two twos. So, you know what we're actually going to do is make a bigger dervish. Because there's nothing you can do about it. See, it grows every turn. So, we're going to we're gonna beef up. We're going to beef up the dervish a little bit here. Not too much, but. Having a creature that's bigger than his that also is impossible for him to get rid of. All right. We now have a safe board position. It's time to start cranking our hand. It's time to start cranking our hand and our life total. All right. Hopefully we'll get a James I Tome at some point, but even if we don't, we're just going to crank our life to an obscene total so that nobody else stands a chance and our life will just, oh. Oh, wait, did he? Yeah, okay. He got rid of my craw worm. Oh, well, whatever. You know what? I'm still going to stick with that as the plan. I'm still going to stick with the plan of just building my hand back up now. Yeah, 5-5 five, five, pro black against a solid mono black deck. <laughs> Things really did turn out awesome here. And we'll be able to kill him whenever we feel like it. Another craw worm. We'll leave that. Habanero, yeah, exactly. Be be the unstoppable life changes, bro. Mm -mm. Well, I wasn't anticipating that. That is a genuine problem. Okay. I got a little too confident, a little too quick. Fair enough, that happens. All uh, right, what are we going to do? I guess I still want to beef up my... I still want to beef up my hand and gain life because if I can get two life a turn, like if I'm gaining three life a turn and he's taking two from me a turn, then it's going to be fine. I'm still getting ahead. It's just slower until I can find an answer to the wand. This is unfortunately slowing the plan down. So 
one tower is enough to stop this, and a second one is enough to start us getting ahead. All right. Uh, let's take them down to one. Now, he could accidentally kill himself with mana burn or something at some point. So there is that risk. I might not be able to churn crazy life, but here's hoping. All right, a hippie. Ooh. Oh, that's a problem. That is a problem. Wait a minute. What does this say? Chart creature with power two or less. Okay, can't use it on his hippie then. That's okay. So then we'll just keep our hand for now the way it is. It's really, this really mucked up my life gain and plan. I was overly, uh, oh, whoa, um, oh, fog, yeah, I'm gonna fog. Man, he's got too many tricks that are problems for me here. All right, so he's at three. I can't attack with much. That won't kill him, so. Gotta hang back. Gotta hang back. So two, he's hitting me for two. I'm gonna gain that two back. We are now at equilibrium if nothing else changes, but he has a lot, oh, there it is. There it is. Okay, perfect. So now we have a Thicket Basilisk and a Lure. We can take out every creature he has on the board with the exception of the al he attacks with. Oh no, he's changing up the strategy. Okay, now we got a, we've got a different problem. He's going poison counters. <laughs> Damn it. Okay. It's only one poison counter each, but that does... Yeah, baby! Yes! Yes! Now he's hosed. Now he's host. Okay. Let's get out a thicket basilisk. And let's Yeah, that's it. Okay. Now we're okay. We've got the icy manipulator. We're gonna be alright, guys. If he doesn't have a terror or something, this is going to be so awesome. All right, so we attack with that and he's at five. So we'll come in for four points. Oh wait, he's gonna gain life from the L. Now nah, whatever, don't muck it up. Just go with that. Everybody blocks the basilisk and then everybody gets killed. Oh! <laughs> okay. Now. Now we're ready to gain life. Now we're ready to gain life. And we can skis so hard. Like we just put out a craw worm. And then whatever creature he has out, we just attack with the craw worm. And he has to block. Drop the icy for protection. And now we're laughing. We can kill him whenever we want. So we're just going to sit back and gain an insane amount of life over however much time it takes to do that. If we can get more ivory towers, that accelerates it. If we get our James I tomes, that accelerates it. Admittedly, it is like a somewhat boring strategy. Andrew G, I'm hoping that it doesn't go for so long that I mill out his entire deck. I want to just get my life total up to... I need it to be something really beefy, honestly. Like, it has to be pretty high because I could get railroaded for a lot of life. So, got to play it safe here. So, yeah, here's how it works. You just go attack with the Crawworm. Actually, I should probably tink his life down a bit. But anyway, I'll attack him with the Crawworm. He has to block or die. So, he's not going to be able to... Um, he's not going to be able to really get out from under that very easily.
a hundred life? You know what, cool guy? I think I think more is probably necessary. Oh, drain life, my crawler. Mildly annoying. Well, I guess we'll bring out another one then. And he needs to be knocked back into his place. So take a dervish smack, you punk. Boom. And it's bigger. Eight, eight, pro black. Poison counters don't carry over. Correct, Jeff. That would suck so bad for me if they did. Guess he's cast on a creature that's small enough to be wanded. All right, another factory. We'll send him the crow worm. It's so cheesy. Like, it's such a cheese bag move to kind of shove him back in this corner and hose him like this, but... It is what it is. Oh, frozen shade. Yikes. Okay. That's way bigger than. Oh, and you can make it unblockable. That's annoying. That's annoying. Uh, so how much mana does he have? Open one, two, three, four, five, six. You can make it big enough. Big enough that the crawl worm won't be able to kill it. All right. Well, I wasn't expecting that, but it's not really a big problem. We'll just put our icy into effect here, right? Okay, so that's all we're doing. Icy the frozen shade. So there are like it's not like the um, it's not like they don't have some kind of answers in their deck, but overall, they have very few options. See the frozen shade. Skis in the dungeons like this is a it, the 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 process of gaining the life is is kind of boring. You know, it's like it's a very methodical sort of thing, and it's not it's not exciting. All right, let's get rid of that merc dwellers. But it ain't about being excited. It's about being effective. And if you want to win at dungeons, if you want the power, oh, useless, useless. Cyclopean Tomb should have taken that out of my deck. They're playing all swamps. I wish that we hit like another tower or something. I'd love to accelerate this life game. Yeah, exactly. Habanero, you're absolutely right. The game is vicious and it's part of the rules. They built it in so you get to take advantage of it. Hey, a James I Tome. Sweet. Sweet. Start digging to find another ivory tower. Okay. Oh, wait. I was thinking it was his turn. It's like, I don't even care what I have in my hand anymore. I don't need the killer bees or anything. It's all about the, the method of... Oh, he didn't even... Wait, it skipped by his upkeep and he didn't even attack anyways. This guy doesn't run a disc. All right, there we go. We got a desert twister. Uh, you're more of a problem, aren't you? So we'll just get rid of you. And then it doesn't matter, because if he attacks with the frozen shade and can't make it unblockable, then uh, I can just block it with the dervish, so it don't matter. It don't matter. Oh, come on, man. All right, well, at least if you use the Jame die before my turn, then I'm gaining four life ago. Mana bar. Cockatrice. Screw it. You know what? I'll just use the Icy in response to him trying to use the Tano's wand. That saves me the hassle of constantly having to do it. 
All right, let's see here. Uh, what are we gonna? Yeah, who cares? Ah, I forgot about the tome. Oh well. Come on, give me. I got three towers. Give me a second one, man. I got so much crap on the table you can't even see under it, right? This is actually one of the biggest struggles I find with the dungeons is where you just end up with like so much on the board and you get so bored with the process that you're like, okay, I'm just going to, I'm just going to go on even though I haven't built up as much, as much resources as I wanted to. Like I can plow this guy into the dirt anytime I want. And my brain tells me to try and get up to like 150 life, but the amount of time it's going to take. My, I'm just like, uh, no. All right, whatever. You think you're getting to attack with that? You're out of your damn mind. See, I'm probably only going to go to 100 and then say good enough because it's... It is starting to get dull. And I'm playing this game for entertainment, after all. I don't even care about him having an El Hajjaj anymore. Whatever, man. Who cares? What are you going to do? Swing for two? <laughs> Make it eight, nine. And have nothing happen. All right, then. Oh, another one. Okay. Winter Blast. Who cares, bro? Ugh. Ugh, I, you know what? I've hit my... I've hit my limit. I'm good. I'm just going to end them now. I'm just too bored of sitting here doing that. I'm going to hope that's enough. I'm just going to try and skis through. Okay. Uh, Diabolic Machine has regeneration. Ugh. Okay. What's the easiest path in, I guess, this way? All right. We got a land of our elves. We got some little donkles. 87 life is pretty sweet, man. Habanero, you do have a good point, bro. The The life gain doesn't work the same way in Wizard's Towers. So they might have intentionally designed it, allowing you to take advantage of that. Well, I'm going to swing, and if you block, I'll giant growth. That bad moon gives them a significant advantage. Terrors. He's got a good deck. Wish I had a uh, more expensive creature to cast right now. Be alright. But hey, this is not a bad spot to be in currently. And I have a huge life buffer to manage with. Oh, you know what? I messed up. I was supposed to put uh, Isaac Isaac up as the as the Shandalord. Hold on, I'm going to do that now. I'm going to do that now. Uh... The Shandalord. All right, and where is it? Oh, there it is. Okay. Now, where's a good place to put that? Oh, the text makes it difficult to read. Hmm. Oh, yeah, you can read it pretty well down here. All right. There you go. That'll do for now. Sorry, man. Okay. So, oh, my lowest power. Oh, yikes. Just a one-two just a one -two regenerator. And I'm already stopped, bro. I'm already stopped in my tracks. What up, DJ Longhair? How you doing, buddy? Oi. Well, we still got tons of life, so it's all good, but 
We need some beef. We need some muscle over here. Oh, no. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. The dervish will grow. We can send it in. We're going to take a beating, but we've got a big life buffer, so that's okay. We got a fog, too. You know, we can... Whoa! Whoa! Come on, man! Can't even go in with the scribs, yo. <laughs> hey, DJ Longhair with the super chat. Paying tribute. Thanks, bro. I raised my drink to you, son. Uh, yeah, fog. Stop that damage. Oh, wow. He is just bringing the squad. You see why I was saying, like, you can gain a bunch of life and it can totally not matter? Get in what you can. Get in what you can. I'm gonna, it's going to take three or four more turns of this to actually punch through. But, hey. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Oh, my God. Look at that. Oh, 69. You dirty. You, hey. Ooh, that's no joke. We got a cockatrice. I have to send her open on defense. That's wild. That dervish, though. The dervish is going to carry the game. We're not going to lose. We're not going to lose. What up, Desolator? How you doing, buddy? How you doing? I'm trying to skis a dungeon. Yo, he's just not attacking. I don't know what he's afraid of, but he ain't attacking. Desert Twister. It's actually going to be most effective across the board on the Bad Moon to shrink the size of his guys. Okay. Uh... Well, now we're laughing. If you're going to sit back like an idiot, eat your hamburger meat. Woo! <laughs> no smoke, you want a Disney version of this where you wander around Disney World fighting for Lorcana cards? <laughs> it's not the worst idea I've ever heard, bro. All right. Yeah, this is great. Things have worked out quite well. I mean, with him sitting back like that, it almost makes me want to sit back and get my ivory tower, you know? I can kill him whenever I want now with the dervish. He can swing on, he can swing on me for one attack, but, like, that's it. So the question is, do I gamble in? Because I've stabilized now, I guess. He's not attacking me, so I consider that stabilized. Ugh. Oh, he drained... Well, I guess I don't even get to decide whether I take him out this turn anyways. Hmm. Kansky, yeah, a lure right now would be amazing, bro. Lured Thicket Basilisk taking out all of his guys? Oh, yikes. Oh, here I am, burn out, burn out, casting a fat hurricane, burn out, burn, oh wait, no, no, damn it, if I do that, he dies, oh, I almost killed him, and now I'm going to eat three mana burn if I don't use it somehow, and I can't, oh, I got so excited to kill his centers, well, pay the burn price, we're going to gamble, we're going to gamble, we'll see if it turns out or not. Here I am, bow, 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 playing sloppy magic now. Bow, 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 bow. <laughs> uh, huh. All right, come on, come on. What's it gonna be? Animate that on my ass. Whoop de doo. What a wasted spell.
He dreamed life once. Maybe he'll do it again. That's possible. Yeah, Jeff, that's true. Hurricane does hit my life total. But I don't need to worry about that because instead of having the hurricane hit my life total, I'm just mana burning myself. Oh, whatever. Who cares? Play a strip mine. He's got dream lives and stuff. May as well deny him some resources. <laughs> All right, I'll use it to pump. All right, come on, Ivory Tower. Come on, Ivory Tower. Come on, Ivory Tower. Come on, Ivory Tower. Let's go gain some more life. Hope he doesn't accidentally kill himself with that mana vault, bro. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Come on, man. Whatever. I'm just going to keep him in my hand. Hoping for that tower. Hoping for that tower. This is a pretty big gamble, honestly. I probably should just be taking the win because... He might do a giant swing on me when he finally gets whatever it is he's looking for, but I'm greedy for life. He took away like 27 life in this fight very quickly. So that just reinforced my desire to have more life, you know? Oh, that might be what it takes to make him swing. Ugh. Yeah, I mean, he might come in with all his flyers. Eh, whatever, let's see what he does. It's probably swing in time, and I'm probably about to go, I'm a fool! In which case, I will chump block with a couple of creatures, and, uh, and then I'll end them. Alright, well, he didn't get to get through, so I'm not actually suffering for the choice that I've made. So that's good. <laughs> Alright. Alright, it's time to end him, because otherwise he's coming for me. All right, say goodnight, you clown. Oh, no! <laughs> okay, fine. Say goodnight, you clown. <laughs> okay, we got 61 life. 64 life. All right. Uh, we're going to fight this guy. Oh. Ew. We don't even have green mana. We don't even have green mana. He's got a first turn mana vault. Oh, this could be a second turn sender, boy. This could be a second turn sender. Oh, no. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Give us what we need. Please don't have a sender. Please don't have a sender. Please do not. Thank you. Uh-oh. Okay, well... Well, who might have 64 life right now, Desolator, because I'm in the dungeon, only in the dungeon, your life total carries over. So if they beat you down to three life, then you stay at three from fight to fight. But if you gain a bunch of life, you get to take that with you. So basically what I do in dungeons is I wait until I've got good board position and then I gain insane amounts of life. Yo, thanks, idiot. Yeah, good. Play sloppy, because I need it. I need it. I need sloppy play, yo. I need that sloppiness. Uh, nope, don't hurricane, because you can just regenerate it. Dryads it is. Ugh, little wiener donks. That's okay, though. Ooh, ooh, okay. We got a lot of life, though. We can always... Oh, come on, man. We can always try and um, beef them back, right? Beef the life back up, depending on how it goes. Okay. All right. Um... How do we want to do this? I guess we just want to crawl worm it, bro. That mana vault's probably going to end up killing him. We're not going to be able to cheese our life back up because he doesn't seem to want to untap it. Hmm, what do I want to do? 
and oh, what am I doing? He doesn't have a forest. It's not unblockable. I'm thinking, no, it's unblockable, no problem, but it's not. Oops, I gotta remember to untap mine too. I'm trying to keep my life total here. I really should get that life force out and use that to hose him. Uh, no point in attacking because he can just regenerate. Ay, 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 that mana vault. Untap your mana vault. Uh, you know what? I can always desert twister if it gets too close to killing him. Maybe I want to get Desert Twister his uh, Bad Moon instead. Oh, yeah, actually, I think I do. And let's force a block. All right, there we go. I don't know if I'm going to be able to gain any more life this game, but I'm definitely going to win it. I'm definitely going to win this fight. There's no question about that. Should have gained more life in the first place, probably, but whatever. Uh, let's see what we got here. Oh, you'll give me more mana so you can drop out. I think next turn I'll play the life force, depending on what I get. Oh, Terror, get out of here, bro. Such a solid spell. Two mana, destroy anything in my deck that's not the Whirling Dervish. Alright, let's drop a Life Force, and... Whatever. We only got a few turns before this fight ends. Before he defaults. Uh, no, we'll just pay two green to counter that with life force. <laughs> it's so gross. An enchantment that says pay two mana and counter a green spell. It's like, no, no, you don't get to do that. No ivory tower. All right, we need an ivory tower or a desert twister. Well, actually, I guess we just need a desert twister because this game is about to be over. He's going to die from his own mana vault. Untap it, you clown. Untap it. Haha, <laughs> no vampire bats. I counter them. <laughs> oh, the hive. Not too shabby. But it's not what we need. Ugh. Come on, man. Alright. Last chance, we either get a Desert Twister or he just dies. <laughs> Unless he has a Drain Life right now. Nope. Well, whatever. Yeah, we don't got nothing. Well, let's let the Man of All take him out. We're still at 50, so there is that. All right, okay, we start with an Apes. Hey, all right. All right, we got the, uh, we're going to get to play for a card here. Not the strongest start, but the fact that we have an apes on the board, it's all right, man. We got all the mana to cast whatever we need to, so that feels good. Him not putting anything out feels great. Lanoir is accelerating us into a third turn. The hive seems pretty busted. Honestly, this might be another game that we can use to, uh, Boost our life total here. Depending. I don't remember what this chick packs, so it, she might have um, Nev's discs, which would be a big problem, but whatever. Let's see how it plays out. Let's just beat the tar out of her. Frozen chain, that's respectable. Five. Nav's asp. 
And coming in for four. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. We got her in a good spot now. We got her in a great spot now. Okay, Chrome Worm. And then we'll take you down to one. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. You're in the you're in the driver's seat. You're in the driver's seat. Mad and so happy to see me play this again. Nice, buddy. Well, make sure you watch all the installments. This is installment number four. The other three are already up over on my uh, live stream archive channel. The link is at the top of the uh, chat box. So if you want to see all the installments, go get you some. Okay, Hypnotic Spectre. That would be a problem if I couldn't just go, you have to block. Oh! Trixie. Trixie little hobbit. But I still got my Barbary Apes, so it works the same difference. It works a treat. Now we need the ivory tower to take advantage of this board position. Alvajaj, the life gainer, whatever, get your two life, bro. I'm just going to keep cranking wasps. It's not going to be able to get through without any creatures sticking around. So, oh, well, fight's over. <laughs> Oops. Oh, yeah, we got the time vault, baby. Uh, uh. Okay, so we can take the guaranteed route of fight this guy get a dice then go through him or we can walk down this way fight this guy hope there's nothing up this path and only have to fight two of him and none of him i don't know which one is actually going to be i don't know which one's more fearsome against my deck so you know what? let's find out we got a time vault so we're not leaving empty-handed no matter what we're not leaving empty-handed uh Oh, and the Cyclopean too might actually be useful against this guy because this guy plays multiple colors. Oh, Lord. I already very much regret my choice. Got the Time Vault, though. Got the Time Vault. So, wouldn't mind the Force Field as well. Let's get in there. Let's start the beat down. Still do have 51 life, right? So I've got plenty of maneuverability. Plenty. Paul Lanty. We got a Killer Bees as well. Got a Hurricane to wipe flyers off the board. Like overall, if we're going to have a flying battle, we're not in the worst spot in the world. He only has one land. Do I want to try and milk more for my Hurricane or do I want to just smoke these both now? I think I want to try and milk more for my hurricane. Get the killer bees online and running. All right. Ah, oh, boo. Okay. Well, the dancing scimitar can hold that off then. Dancing scimitar. The Cyclopean Tomb, when he only has one land, we can hose him into just having a swamp, but it's also not going to do that much. It'll cut him off from blue, though. Oh, he's got his own Dancing Scimitar. All right, Hurricane's going to be extremely effective against this deck. Now, let's go... Do I... Yeah, whatever. He's only got one land. Let's try and, let's try and deny him access to his colors. Oh, should have put out that icy manipulator. That hurts. That hurts. Yeah. 
All right, won't make that mistake again. Get the icy out. <laughs> okay, I don't want to take that, so I'll chump block. We only have to stop it for like one turn, right? Uh, you know, it's probably better to mark it before combat to stop in this case, because who knows what shenanigans he's going to pull. We don't need to mess with his lands. All right, and we'll put out a scrib sprite. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do. Because, yeah, once he passes to leave uh, the main phase, right before combat, we'll icy down the Zephyr. Oh, good lord. <laughs> Holy crap. I thought we were in good position for a flight battle here. Uh, oh, I guess for this turn, I'm just going to eat it. It's not that big a deal because I just have to wait for like two turns for this to shrink down enough to be blocked by this and icy this. But I didn't want to take that damage, right? Oh, well. It's not the end of the world. It ain't the end of the world. The funny part is I set him up to cast those three unholies by giving him a swamp. Oh, and it jam died, bro. All right. Uh, I guess it doesn't matter which one we icy at this point because they both have five power. I am going to actually let the scrib sprites take it on this one. Okay. Uh... <laughs> that would have been amazing earlier in the game. Oh, well, let's see here. What are we going to do now? Uh, I guess that's about it for right now. Okay, we'll tap that down. Let's see. Oh, I tapped prematurely. I'm a premature tapper. Well, whatever. Make myself feel better. I'm going to have my guy beat up your ornithopter. <laughs> okay, we're going to take fat seven damage here. Oh, man. Brutal. Brutal. <laughs> okay. Um. Well... I'm going to put out a craw worm. And... I guess that's about it. I can't attack into that gigantic Vigilor. Man. Things are going not the greatest. Alright. Top you down. Take my lumps down to 25. This guy has really chewed down my health, man. Fighting him was a mistake. Oh, great. A will o wisp in the mix. Is he tapped out? Doesn't have black mana? Okay, we'll, we'll kill that then. Alright, so we'll do a. Two. I guess three point. We'll do a three-point Winter Blast. Tap you, you, and you. Those guys die. Smack you down for eight. That works for me. Okay, now possibly I can finally actually be on the defense and not get wanged. All right, we made it through an attack phase. That Zephyr Falcon's going to die on his next turn, so that's fine. That's fine. We're going to 
get rid of his mountain. Slap down the land leeches. The tracker will fight the falcon. All right. There we go. We've weathered the ma the majority of the storm, at least. That scimitar is so huge, bro. It's so huge. Tracker can get rid of that. And we'll hit him for nine points. All right. There we go. Overall, we're stabilized finally. But it's tenuous. Ugh. All right. This guy is a big. He has awesome stuff. Uh, I'm just going to. You know what? I'm just going to kill him. We already got the time vault. We already got the time vault. Dirkwood Boris. Oh, nice. We're going to barrel into this guy with a Dirkwood in play. That's awesome. And it doesn't even have summoning sickness. Raw Boars! Oh, I didn't cast my mana vault. I was so excited by that. Well, whatever. We just end up using it to take damage anyways. <laughs> oh, Will-O-Wisps already ready to get, get in the way of the boars. That's all right. That's okay. That's not great. that marked anymore ah uh, that sucks I mean I'm gonna take one either way right so I guess we may as well just put this out he won't attack into it or not with that will-o-wisp sweet Advancing scimitar. Mm, 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 mm. Should have milled the first jump out. Yeah, I guess, eh? Gained all the life I could. Just didn't have the patience for it, you know? Didn't have the patience. That's sometimes how it goes. He's playing a game. Part of the game is how, how much you can tolerate. Dervish and land leeches. Forced to sit here and try and find a way around it. Well, I got a pretty decent defensive setup. It'd be nice to have an ivory tower. They only showed up in that first game, and it's like, never again. But what else? Let's just bring the dervish beat down and get in position for the win. Getting two of the three cards from the dungeon bare minimum is a good, that's a good result. We didn't get just booted out of the lose. All right. 
That puts him in dervish death position. So we can swing him with the dervish and take him out whenever we need to. That's a good place to be. That's a lot of mana. I'd be worried if he carried something like rocket launchers, but he doesn't have that stuff. Oh, come on, man. Give me that ivory tower. Uh, he has no point in talking with anything else because the Sorcerer's Queen will make quick work of it. Sorcerer's Queen, and then just double block a 0-2 with the other two guys, and he can kill anything I have. So, this is an opportunity to see. Hey, sweet. Yeah. Well, there you go. Showing the stuff he can be doing. That was a waste of his hell from beyond, and I'm glad to see that. <laughs> That's not what I wanted to have happen. I'm just going to have to kill him. Mm -hmm. And we're down to 22 life. Ugh. Ivy Tower? Ivy Tower? Nope. All right. Forget it. We're just going to end up getting our life tinked away. So. Yeah! The only thing that's left is the least important one. That's the time walk. And where is it? It's got to be right up in here. That's the only option. What's the easiest way to get there? That boy, beef boy flying squad's going to screw me up. Uh, oh. Could fight him and hope there's nothing in that intersection. All right. That's the route we're going to go. Can't say I like the look of this hand that much. That's right, Urameshi, the, the whirl in that dervish boy. It worked out. It worked out. Alright, what do you got? Ah. Oh. Alright. Alright. I don't want to activate the mana vault unless it's worth it. He can hit me for up to three a turn with that stupid vampire bat. There we go. Get some kind of aerial defense. I got a feeling. Oh, sweet. I got a feeling that I'm not going to survive this one. But since I got the two main pieces that I'm here for, I'm okay with that. few pixies and there's still if i can get an ivory tower like there's still a chance here right like yeah i don't care about that that's bad this is bad 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 this is bad news But you ain't dead to your last life points gone, so I ain't giving up yet. Oh, my scimitar. Hey! Hey! Yes, used properly. That actually is the solution to our problem. Tap out, tap out, tap out. Yes. Okay. Oh, I'm dead meat anyways. Doesn't matter. Pumps that for two. I'm down to one. Man of all kills me. I don't even know what I lose. I don't even know what I lost from my deck. What did I lose? What did I lose from my deck? Not my dervish. Not an ivory tower. Disc hive. I don't know. I don't know what I lost. Uh... Oh, is it Grizzly Bear? <laughs> okay, who cares? Sweet. 
Thanks, guys. That's awesome. I don't, I don't care that much about a grizzly bear loss, you know? Nomad's Bazaar. <laughs> yes. Okay. What do I want? I want more aspects of wolf. That's for sure. Um, hmm. <gasps> Gay as liege, bro. I forgot you exist. Yeah. I want a couple lieges. I want an aspect of wolf. Um, what else? What else do I want? What a score, bro. Um, hmm. So many choices. Scavenger folk. Oh, I accidentally left early, but got a mox jet, bro. What? Okay. Aspect the wolf in. Chaos leashes in. Force field in. Mox jet in. Time vault in. Look at that. Look at that deck. This deck is too big now. This deck's going to need some trimming. Man, overall, I don't even know. I don't even know what I want to get rid of. Maybe I don't need, you know what? I don't think I need fogs. And I'm going to get rid of the Tetravis. Uh, does the Hiving even matter for this deck? Oh, take that Life Force back out because I'm not playing against black decks. Hmm. Eh. You know what? I'm going to worry about changing this deck the next time I play Chandelier. I'm going to leave it for now. This feels like a pretty triumphant end spot for this installment. So, if you haven't already, you can go and check out the other installments that are up on this channel. This is part four, so this is up on the Hatcher Stream channel or whatever. So, if you're not subscribed, you should be unless you're a dummy. Okay, whatever.